Okay guys, in this tutorial, how do you turn on BitLocker? So how do you turn on BitLocker and you can do BitLocker encryption. So simple and easy way. You're gonna give a right click on it and look for control panel. Just somewhere control panel. I don't see control panel. It's okay. Go to sorts and then type over here control panel it's control panel c o n you can see guys here you have it's control panel click on that this will open control panel now here you have a drop down icon where it says category now click on a small icon so all are listed in a small icon now you're gonna check over here BitLocker encryption. So here I have it's a BitLocker drive encryption. Click on that, and this opens the BitLocker drive encryption. So you can see it will show you all the listed drive. You can see I have a three different drive over here: drive H, drive P, and drive C. Go to this PC: drive C, drive H, and drive P. So here we go. I have drive C drive H and drive P so you can just uh, click on this drop down icon and it's gonna show you the details so you can turn on BitLocker for any drive whether C drive, H drive or P drive so let's say I want to turn on BitLocker for my H drive I want to do the BitLocker encryption, so I'll click on Turn on BitLocker. Now, choose how you want to unlock this drive. So once you lock your drive, definitely you want to unlock it sometime. So use the password to unlock, or use my smart card to unlock the drive. You will need to insert a smart card. A smart card pin will be required when you unlock the drive. So you can use your smart card if you have a smart card. So you have to insert your smart card into your PC first. Otherwise, uh, most common people use the password. You can use the password to unlock the drive. Now you're going to enter the password. The password should contain uppercase, lowercase, number, space, and symbol. So use these characters in a password and then put some strong password to unlock your drive. So once you type the password, again you have to retype the same password again. So once you retype the password again, now you're going to click on next. You can see, how do you want to back up your recovery key? So your uh, BitLocker has a recovery key. So you can use USB flash drive, you can save to files or print the recovery key. So or you can save to your Microsoft account. The easy way is either you can all the options are really the best options as you can save to your Microsoft account but the chance is sometime you lose your account or lose the password of your account save to USB flash drive sometime your USB flash drive might get corrupted if you save to files you can save somewhere into your computer print the recovery is the best option you can print and keep it safely somewhere later on you may need it so let's say uh, if you don't have a printer right now you can save it and later on you can print it so I will choose to save uh, to files. So, so this is a BitLocker recovery key. So I will save it somewhere into my uh, OK guys. I will save it inside documents. Click on save. So save is keep uh, save you can save in somewhere save place. Now click on next otherwise you can go with the multiple option even you can save to your microsoft account even you can put it into your pen drive you can save the files even if you want you can print also so you can go with uh, all four options either one the either place you'll find your key if you lose one option click on next choose how much of your drive to encrypt so encrypt used disk space only encrypt entire drive so your drive is either of uh, 5 GB you can see 89 GB is free remaining are used almost whole drive is free 
So some drive, uh, some of the files that you have saved in your place, some of the drive, let's say 10 GB of your drive is used, or out of 5 GB, 2 GB is used. You want to encrypt only used space or whole drive. Let's say I want to encrypt my whole drive so that no one can access my drive without key or the password. So in tried drive, I want to encrypt. Click on next. New encryption mode best for fixed drive on this uh, device. Compatible best for drive that can be moved from this device. So you're going to choose compatible mode. If your drive, you can just uh, is like external drive. You are moving from one place to another place. So the best for the drives that can be moved from this device. So you can move. Uh, if it is uh, internal drive, you're going to choose uh, the new encryption mode. It is uh, really the best option. If your drive is uh, like external drive, you are moving the drive from one place to another place, like pen drive, or you are trying to put the bit locker for your external hard disk. You're going to choose the compatible mode. Since it is a internal drive, uh, it's my internal hard disk or SSD, so I'll choose the first options, new encryption mode. Click on next, and now click on start encrypting. So you can see encryption in progress. I saw the no I got the notification. When I click on this notification, you can see over here encrypting my drive. 37.8% is completed. So give some time, let it encrypt. Okay guys, finally we have a message. Encryption of EH is complete. Click on close. We are almost done. You can see my EH drive bit locker is turned on now. From here also, you can back up your recovery key. You can change password. You can remove password. You can add a smart card. Turn on auto unlock and you can turn off bit locker. So all these options you have. Again, you can come back to the control panel. You can get inside bit locker and you can do this whenever you want. Now finally, I'll go over here. You can see the lock over here. My yes drive is completely encrypted by a bit locker encryption. Now you can see. So this is the way how you can just uh, encrypt your drive with a bit locker. The easy and the simple way. So if you like this tutorial, be sure to hit the like button, subscribe and comment. I'll catch you in the next tutorial with another great stuff. Have a good day.